Hey guys, and welcome to The Buying View. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, we will be talking um, actually about something I never thought we would be speaking about in a while, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, and we're going to be talking about Thomas Tuchel getting the sack. Now, it, it what I'm going to read isn't saying that he's getting the sack straight up, but it is very uh, interesting to, to think um, on if it comes to fruition, if that makes any sense. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. As always, though, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you for the constant support on the channel. It's always uh, much and greatly appreciated, people. And um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, um, if we exit this layout like so, hopefully, you, it's, a, it's quite a lot to read, uh, but I don't mind reading that. So, it says, Buying bosses uh, want to finish the season with Thomas Tuchel. Straight away, obviously, I'm not massively happy with, with that. I think. Yes, you probably do have to give him to the end of the season, but from my point of view, Liam here talking, not the person that owns the Bayern View or whatever, because obviously collectively we, we all have different opinions and I, that's why I made this channel in the first place. Um, but like in my personal opinion, I don't think he should have got the job and I don't think he should have gone into January. That's why I wanted him. Obviously, it's if, buts and maybe you could say this, that. But I wanted him sacked before Christmas, so then the next manager could come in and maybe get a player or two in January um, and not have got fucking Eric Dyer. Um, yeah, so there's that. So uh, then it goes on to say, um, never the uh, dis dismission this coach uh, is not currently a topic. Uh, and then it says, nevertheless, um, the people in charge um and Tuchel do not have the closest relationship uh, and we've obviously seen um the people in charge not having uh the re good relationship with um Hansi Flick that's happened before um and they're very they're very brutal by and I'm like and that's why like a lot of people just see me as a moany little rat probably but at the end of the day I the way I see it is I've seen my club sack managers for less you know what I mean? So it's it's that sort of situation, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I, I'm I am surprised he's still in the job, but it is what it is. Um, then it goes on to say uh, the coach uh, the coach's recent statements about the difference between the quality in training and in games were met with criticism from Bayern's hierarchy. Again, that's that's not really what you want to hear or what you want to see. Um, because that's, you know, it generally it's not good for him. Um, and again, it's good for someone like me that wants him out. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a difficult situation, isn't it? Um, um, and then it says, uh, but the club's bosses still believe in Tuchel's qualities as a football coach. Okay, I Disagree with that, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, Tuchel uh, also gets along with uh, very well with Christopher Freeland. I'm not saying that Tuchel is a horrible person. I'm never going to say that Tuchel is a horrible person. It, I think you have to be stupid to say such a thing. Like, I don't know him personally, so you can't go down that route. I just don't want him as my football manager, if that makes any sense. Um... Regarding the team, there are some uh, dissatisfied uh, players who don't feel close to Tuchel. That's obviously, I would say, Kimmich. I would say Goretzka. Uh, De has got to be one of those. Um, so, yeah, interesting. Um, and would uh, like better communication. But from a tactical point of view, the majority of the squad is still convinced in him and his ideas. Again, of course, I'm going to disagree with that, but whatever. Uh, Xabi Alonso is an interesting candidate if Tuchel doesn't uh, continue beyond the summer. Well, he won't if we lose the league. Uh, if we get knocked out of the Champions League before a semi-final, he should also get the sack. So, interesting to see. And then it says here, Bayern bosses are closely following the Spaniards' development, i.e. Xabi Alonso with Bayer Leverkusen. But the topic is not hot yet, as they still um, trust Thomas Tuchel. So, again... Let me know what you guys think. Is this bad? Is this good? I'm really not too sure, uh, if I'm honest. Um, but either way, 
it is what it is, man. And we 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 just gotta we gotta push on with it. It doesn't look like I'm gonna sack him right now, even from what that's saying. So um there's no point of even thinking about sacking him right now. Um, because they're not thinking of it. Um, even though I want him out. Tuchel out, Tuchel out, hundred percent. Um but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the conversation down below. Thank you for the constant support. And uh, until then, Mia Samia, peace out, my people. Have a great night. And I apologize that this video is a little bit late.